Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Capricorn. This is going to be for your October 2022. Uh, you can apply this to any replacements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for October. And then we'll finish off the read with the uh, possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Uh, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these aren't just... Uh, um, I had a brain hiccup. These are general messages, okay? Uh, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified um, when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Capricorn, let's get started. Tell me about Capricorn here. Over energies for Capricorn. What is surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know for uh, October 2022? Tell me about Capricorn here. Tell me about Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. All right, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You might have those energies in your chart. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Lots of fast energy happening here. You know, I feel like right now you're in this energy of sort of like going for what you want. Also, I feel like you're making plans here for yourself here too. Seven of Pentacles. It seems like you're making some sort of plan here. You're definitely in this energy of definitely like reassessing uh, sort of like, you know, sort of like wondering if there are certain things in your life that you're dealing with right now if it's worth investing in or if you're wasting your time all right let's see what else we have we have the nine of cups well wow. oh shoot with the four of cups in the four of swords we have a couple of fours here this is an indication that there's a major focus in your stability here okay so what i'm getting is that you're definitely taking a step back reassessing to see what is it that you want what is it that you're looking for okay because i feel like you've been through a lot here with the nine of wands here okay i mean with the nine of pentacles here this is telling me that you're in this energy of really enjoying your freedom here and your independence okay but I feel like there's something more that you're looking for, okay? There's something more that you're searching for here, Capricorn. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. We have the full Aries energy, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, okay? Seems like what, what's happening here is that, you know, I feel like there is an energy of, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, finding self-love for yourself here okay and i feel like you're in this energy of sort of like taking some big bold risk here you know something that you've never really been known to do because some capricorns are really like risk adverse but i feel like you're taking risk here i feel like you're taking a challenge here for yourself okay so there's the energy of definitely stepping out of your comfort zone because um you know that queen of swords and that queen of wands energy is a very fiery and very airy energy so it's like not the typical capricorn grounded like energy right now i just feel like you're this energy of like kind of like flowing yeah so seven of pentacles with a king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the nine of cups here in the hangman. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with this king of pentacles here. This is someone else over here too. You could be in this energy of surrendering here or that you could be dealing with someone here who's surrendering. 
perhaps surrendering you or surrendering controlling the process here, it could be an indication that there could be new love coming in the picture here for you, okay? Uh, now, I don't know where you fit in this. I mean, we do have two queens here. We do have a king here, okay? Uh, you know, maybe it will, maybe you fell in love with one of the queens or that you're falling in love with one of the queens or that there could be two people here for you. That's really good for you, but you don't know, you know, what to do. Okay, or that it could be a situation that you could be dating, um, and you know, you could be dating multiple people, you know, making big, bold risks, taking bold risks and moves here. Um, but it just seems like there's an energy of definitely, you know, definitely taking some bold risks here. Let's see, uh, tell me about this, uh, four of cups with a page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, four of swords here, and a ten of pentacles. Wow. There is a chance for prosperity here. With that page of wands, you know, uh, I feel like you're learning to sort of surrender here and sort of accept things for what it is instead of controlling it, okay? Because the more that you control, the more that you will hinder your own growth and the evolution. They feel like you're stopped. You're, 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 you're learning to overcome that because I feel like you're finding happiness in just going with the process here. I feel like you're going to find prosperity and abundance in just going with the process here. I mean, we have a ton of pentacles. Look at that. Okay. What else do we have here for Capricorn regarding their situations? What else does Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect here? For October 2022, what does Capricorn need to work on or look out for? And we have the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here. Lots of Pentacles. Very typical Capricorn-like reading. We have the Three of Cups and the Sun. There's happiness. There's prosperity here. This is beautiful. We have the Nine of Wands here and the Knight of Wands. Okay, judgment on the bottom of the deck. So the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? We have the Three of Cups and the Sun. We have three fours here, by the way. So there's a major focus in your stability here. And I feel like you're finding it, okay? I feel like you're finding it through yourself or you're finding it through people uh, that you're surrounding yourself with. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands here and the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I don't know. I feel like someone here might be trying to come back towards you or that you're trying to break free of um, the trauma that you've been through here or that you're finding your freedom here. There's a lot of fast energy here, by the way. You know, I just feel like you're in this like very fiery, passionate energy with the four of pentacles and the three of swords, the ace of pentacles and the strength card here. Um, for some of you guys, your health is gonna be improving here, okay? I'm getting high blood pressure or that I'm getting diabetes here, okay? Because I feel like you guys might be changing your lifestyle here and exercising more. The three of cups. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces, the Sun here, and the Lovers. Something is being illuminated here, okay, in your love life, all right? So I do feel like there's there's new love in the picture here, okay? Gemini energy. We do have that Ace of Cups. We do have that Lovers here. Yeah, and that High Priestess, you know, I feel like you're in this energy of really trusting the people that are around you trusting that they have your best interest at heart here okay so i feel like you're also really tapped into your intuition tell me about the nine of wands why is the nine of wands here we have the queen of pentacles we have the king to the queen of pentacles here that's a true pair we have the six of pentacles okay so what's happening here is that i feel as though i mean that queen of pentacles is capricorn energy for me you know, I feel like right now you're in this energy of really generously giving your time and energy to people here. And I feel like you're really attracting good things in and around you right now, okay? Um, so there's a lot of, you know, just trusting the process and not controlling it. You know, that could be the, the illumination that's happening here. When you don't control, you know, things sort of like just unfold in you know the best way that it possibly can okay so uh capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe 
hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.